Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport port. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Hey comrades, as you can see we're playing Alien Isolation. This is not my first time playing this beginning part. Um, we've had a lot of issues with our new recording. We're starting a new... This is our our first actual legit series we're actually going to try and attempt. Uh, we've tried recording things in the past and it was just it's just been a muck up. Um, kind of poor, so now we got ourselves a capture card, so testing this shit out. Mel's already been doing a lot, so if this is not already on her channel, make sure you check her channel out, Buttons Dog. Alright, so I will be sure to let you guys know when I'm at the part that I'm not familiar with. Oh, I haven't seen that, but I never touched that button before. Because um, we did do a, a pretty good playthrough, and um, in the beginning trying to do a, um, a first record, but it didn't go too well. But as I can say for this game, it is absolutely phenomenal and I'm gonna do my absolute best to keep 
quiet and uh, mute my mic when uh, there's commentary going on and when there's um, cutscenes. So if there's a cutscene, I know a lot of you like to listen to them without anybody talking through them. So, and most of these things, I'll just look at them so you can read. So if you're interested in reading them, I'll just take a quick peek in. I'm sorry, I'll take a quick peek and peek inside, and uh, you can pause the video at your leisure and read it yourself. I ain't much of a big fan for reading, so we're just gonna go ahead and continue through on that. This game is legit. Absolutely, the um, graphics are phenomenal, the detail's phenomenal, and it really does stick that 80s feel in there. Hopefully this recording goes better than the last. I like the detail. I love it when they put detail in games um, with a good physics engine, along with just buttons galore. There was absolutely no use for this shower to be here, but I love that I can actually turn it on and off. I love that detail in games. Absolutely ridiculous. But I'm also aware that as far as I know, you can do things like that to uh, distract the aliens. I'm going to try to cut my videos short, episodes short, so we can render this nice. Uh, da, da. These are our fancy save points. Gotta love them. Ooh. I don't want to forget anything. Because I know if I don't grab this stuff, I'm going to regret it. I think I got everything from here. The detail, the detail. The noises are so well done, too. I mean, you can literally hear your sneakers on the floor when you are moving a little quick down the hallway, and if you stop pretty quick, you can hear the <laughs> the sneakers. If you're a big fan of the movies, you will be a big fan of this game. Uh, it's this way. A lot of you're going to be able to recognize this area. Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to you. The Nostromo? Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. If you guys remember this room from the original movie, uh, as he said, this ship is not the same ship, but the same class. This is the first... This is where they diagnosed that guy with the first face hugger on him. Absolutely freaking awesome ta -ta -ta -ta. and I am gonna warn you now I love looking around making sure I'm not missing nothing so if you're a fan of checking out that detail you won't mind me peeking around Just look at that gorgeous hallway. Mm -mm -mm. This game does a real good job at sinking you in with the game in the beginning. So you get that extra feel when you first actually uh, get tuned in. Ah, that's that long hallway. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. 
If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Ooh. Approaching Sebastopol Station. Looks like we're up. I know y'all want me to go look at this terminal real quick. I'm gonna go check that out. Naval cookbook. I need me one of those. Ta ta ta. Cookie. Who's? Oh, he's there. He goes. I always wondered how he got there. I didn't know he actually walked there. Every time I was always in that room. He was always there first. Crackers. There's always something you miss first time around. I like looking at the detail. Do you guys remember Mother from the first ship? Yeah, we get to see her in this one. Just going to quickly skim through that. If you want to read it, pause your video. Da, 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 da. All right. Now, this woman is freaking fantastic at crafting shit. It's not like Minecraft, but it is, um... I'll give you a nice little crafting window, sort of. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. This room is perfectly recreated after that after that one scene in the uh, Nostromo. There's the approach of the ship, or I mean of the planet. Uh, the uh, station we're going to be regrouping with is um, in orbit of that gas giant. If you guys remember, if you ever seen the first Alien movie, you remember the scene perfectly. Like I said, this ship is designed right after it. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Hello, Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrent. Say again. The station's comms seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted Samuel suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Shadow me, Taylor. You two 
two, Samuels. Affirmative. Thank <laughs> you. 